let me say this in our in our local language. Welcome to Salon. Sierra Leone been colonized by the British after the the slave trade. When you are in a distance, far away from the coast, you're looking at the mountain, it's like a lion ship. That's why they call it uh, Sierra Leone. The original name was Saraloa, and when the British find it very difficult to pronounce it, they call it Sierra Leone. The land is green, <laughs> surrounded by sea, actually, mountains. So many mountains, everywhere you go, from the east and west, the mountains. We have like two seasons, rainy seasons and dry seasons, like being in Sierra Leone from month of uh, June, July, August, September, terrible rain, actually. We have a lot of places to explore. We have like Banana Island, Tasso Island, Totul Island, we have Bones Island. The best beach in West Africa and Africa to be specific, you can find them in Sierra Leone. We have very nice, lovely beach. For example, River Number no. 2. I recommend River Number no. 2 beach to everyone. Well, of course, as a Sierra Leonean, when I think about my country, the thing I'm really proud of is like, um, the religious tolerance. Muslim and Christian, they live together as family. What brings me the most pride is coming from a hot climate culture. Everybody belongs to a country, so being a Sierra Leonean is a privilege for me. The community life in Sierra Leone is smooth. Yeah, we have part Caribbean, part Western, and all, you know, that kind of groovy. <laughs> the culture is really amazing, man. I'm from Kono. Um, people really, because most of the people, when you say Kono, they'll say, oh, that's where the diamond is coming. All the diamonds are coming from. Yes, that's where I'm coming from, Kono District. In my, in my district where I'm coming from, they really do mining. and. You can be lucky to find one and you can be rich. <laughs> we really like friends. We make friends very easily and we love people. And one thing that I like about Sierra Leoneans is um, we value strangers. Sierra Leone is a very um, peaceful country. We love strangers. We love strangers, actually. And we always put strangers first. And for example, a family will vacate the room and give it to a stranger. If we have a stranger now, she will just take me out of my room and say, please excuse me, we have a stranger. I think you can lie down on the floor. You can manage it so that the stranger will be on the bed. I, I love the culture. I love that about Sierra Leoneans. The first thing as a Sierra Leonean or as a visitor, we learn how to greet. Well, Creole is the common language that has been spoken all throughout the country is Creole. So the greetings is different with various ethnic groups, but the most common one in Creole is like, like how you they do, how the body, say my body fine, are they do well? Like trying to reply that I'm good, I'm doing well. Like how you they do, like how are you? My body fine. Australian is a peaceful country. We love people so much. First thing, the greeting. How you body? Kushel, you know, because they are friendly actually. They come to you, make you comfortable as if you are home. A greeting that will help you is Kushe. Kushe works in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. You can use Kushe. If it's a, a lot of people you're greeting and you don't want to greet them individually, you can say Una Kushe. Una Kushe. That means it's you greeting them all. And it works in the morning, afternoon, and evening, and all the time. I know most of you guys are from the Western world, like you might tend to like cut the greeting short, like, hey, hi. No, we don't do that in Sierra Leone. At least we spend like one or two minutes to say, hey, how you do, how the body? Sierra Leoneans um, really don't cope with um, a plastic smile. I'm sorry to say it, but I have to. We, we, we want it to be real. We want to feel it. Like, if it's just, the, the person is not going to cope well with that. Yeah, that is. How we get in Sierra Leone, not just the high and hey, hello things now. <laughs> yeah. Since I come to Mashiship, I've learned that um, some people are not morning people. It doesn't mean that they are not good people. They are not just morning people. Try your best and 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 be friendly and and just be nice. And if you smile, smile with your whole heart. Sierra <laughs> Leoneans are like respectful. We 
very much value elderly people. Even when rejecting food, you have to do it respectfully and say, I'd prefer water instead. It's like rejecting um, offering from someone when visiting their home is a sign of disrespect. And so it's, it's always good to appreciate gift. <laughs> well, I have a lot of dishes, especially when it comes to our local dishes. We have cassava leaf, we have crane crane, potato leaf. I know if Sierra Leoneans are watching me, they know what I'm talking about. So it's very hard for me to choose among those, those dishes, which one is my favorite because <laughs> I think they are all nice. Oh, my favorite Sierra Leone food and cassava leaf and rice and fufu and okra soup. I feel so good now the ship is coming to Sierra Leone and I know the impact that the ship is going to make in the lives of people. The Bible said, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. So I've been loving people around and serving them around, so it's time for them to pay back to me. So I'm very, very happy to visit my country with the global Massey. I'm over excited. Sierra Leone is a friendly, it's a friend to Massey ship. So I'm so excited over that so that we can go to, to our nation and bring hope and healing to our people back. Yeah. I'm really happy right now to serve in my home country, to introduce my fellow crew members to my community, to my country, and take them um, to different places they want to visit. I'm really excited right now, as you can see the way I'm talking. I'm really happy. Yeah. <laughs>